Hello, everybody, and welcome. Today, we are streaming over on our other channel, Christmas Shopaholic, on Facebook, so make sure to join us over there. Um, we are going to, today, talk about Christmas uh, toys and uh, kids' books that you can also check out. These are really, really cute. They're really fun. Let me get this published so on Amazon so we can get started today. Um, and let me know in the comments where you're watching from, what sort of thing you're looking for, if you're doing any last minute gifts at all, or if you're trying to get inspired for maybe next year. Sometimes people buy things ahead of time. All right. So the first thing on our list today is the Elgato face or yes, I have all of the tech stuff in the very front. So if you're curious about like my webcam, my um, mic or my lights, let me know and I will let you know about them. So we have the Elgato face cam first. Great camera. I've had it for a couple years. It's pretty amazing. We also have, I have two ring lights. One of them is a 10 inch and it's really fun. I like that you can do multicolor, unfortunately not for this channel, uh, but it is pretty great. And it does come with a remote. It's really snazzy. And then we also have if you are looking for a great mic, if you do podcasts or anything like that, you should check out the um, Blue Yeti. This price is pretty low, and I'm actually shocked. It's been the lowest it's been since Black Friday. So this one is $84.99. It usually is above $100 every time for most of the year. So if you are looking for some streaming stuff, I highly recommend this. All right. So the first book I want to share with you today is very, very cute. It's called Twinkle Twinkle Winter Night. Let me shuffle some things around. It, I hope my my whole shelf doesn't fall apart. Usually it does every time I do talk about kids' books. They're just so, they're thin and they slip from behind my bookshelf. So anyway, here we have Twinkle Twinkle Little Night. This one is 37% off. It's a hardback. It's really pretty. So you can see it has beautiful purple, blue illustrations here. It's written like a poem. So here we go. Come along to see, see the show. Nightfall sets the world aglow. You can see the trees. They kind of have this uh, last unicorn art style. I love the owl here. Rising slowly overhead, moon tucks daylight into bed. In the quiet, calm, and clear... A sky sparkles like a chandelier. I hope you guys can see this. I might need to move myself a little further away. This is such a beautiful book. So not only is it kind of, it's a celebration of winter time. So it has, it talks about celebrating different winter holidays. So of course, like Kwanzaa, uh, Hanukkah and Christmas uh, and Yule and how everybody does that. It has equal representation, which is really cool. So this is basically just a winter book. They're out in the forest, and then they go back to town, and they, then you can see how everybody celebrates, which is really cool. Beaming, gleaming, lively sight, twinkle, twinkle, little night, or winter night. Pathways beckon, bright and bold, windows wink with eyes of gold. A candle here, eight more there, for all to see and all to share. It's such a cute book. I highly recommend it. Um, and it's really just a stunning, the illustrations are really beautiful. So this is, I love the back. Everything does look like a crystal chandelier. I hope it's snowing um, for you guys for a white Christmas. It's probably not going to snow here in the Pacific Northwest. I wish. Uh, this is Twinkle Twinkle Little, our winter night. This is adorable. I highly recommend it. A great wintertime book. I just saw the little owl in the sky. Okay, so the next book I want to share with you today is another one I actually really enjoy. For, I don't know why. It's it's a pretty cute one. Let me grab it. It is called Little Red Sleigh. It is, it's heartwarming and it's interesting because it's like an inanimate object and we have a bunch of alliteration. It's just really cute. So this is about a cute little red sleigh whose dream is to be Santa's big red sleigh. So let's read this together. Here we have, in a quiet corner of a cozy Christmas shop, there was a little red sleigh as bright as Christmas morning. She wasn't very big and she wasn't very fast and she was a very, and she was very young for a sleigh. 
But deep inside her strong, sweet heart, Little Red had a big dream. She longed to become Santa's big red sleigh. This is such a cute story. It really, I mean, it's just really fun. So Little Red decides to go on this adventure and travel to the North Pole to go find Santa Claus. So she says goodbye to her uh, apparently snowman. Let's move forward. She travels onto a train and then she finds a truck that she hitches a ride with as well right here. So it's kind of, a, it's a lengthier story, which is really nice. So if you wanted to do a longer bedtime read, you sit down, maybe it's the day before or the night before Christmas or during the weekend, like Friday, getting kids to just wind out so they could sleep. This would be a really cute story about a dream that may come true for Little Red. So this one's 40% off. It is seven or 1077 stunning illustrations really cute story i highly recommend it so check it out it is the little red sleigh a really unique christmas story i haven't seen one quite like this and i love the glitter in the silver on the cover here it's a hardback it's really nice okay so some of the things you might see in not just my carousel so check out our amazon live channel you'll find all of that information down here in this little floating banner we are at cookbook divas uh definitely check oh i'm getting all confused here it's a monday uh so we have these lights you probably have noticed it's a two pack oh no it looks like it might not be available quite yet you can find more of these if you click through on this link. There's a ton of different um, kinds of sellers that do sell these cute little gingerbread lights. It's wire and um, it's three AAA batteries right here. You can, I hope you can see, maybe not, might be difficult. And it does come with a USB cord too. So if you don't have batteries, you can actually use a USB and plug it in, put it on your banister. You can wrap a wreath. It's a lot. There's a lot of cool things you can do with these, but they're really festive and adorable. So I wanted to share that with you. Let me share with you too some toys. We don't just have books today. So one of the things that we have here, this is adorable. So this is called Littlies or Real Littles. So first of all, there's a couple of different kinds you can get. So click through. I think there's a alpaca a cat, I think a dog unicorn. There's a lot of different ones. So it comes with this little chain here. You can actually attach it to your backpack if you wanted to. It's really sturdy. I mean, it's great. Um, here, it actually is a cute little backpack. If you do have kids that have dolls or maybe they want to store like, I don't know, pieces of candy or something or tiny little notebooks, they totally can. It comes with a pencil um, and this notebook and it comes with stickers. This notebook actually has quite a few pages here. So they can write like random thoughts or they can use this as a place to stick their stickers if they wanted to. This one's the panda and they have its cute little watermelon panda theme. I love that. I haven't actually seen that before. So it's really cute. Highly recommend these just as a little stocking stuffer if you're looking for some of those still. They're only $9.97 and it comes with a lot of little things. I know that for me, I, I mean, I like Christmas, but sometimes when I was a kid, I'd get a lot of Christmas themed stuff. So I would only use it for, I mean, Christmas by that time when you go back to school has ended. So I would rather get something that's not Christmas themed like this so that I can carry it around all year. So check this one out. They are real littles. Cute little panda. He's so soft and squishy. Okay. So another thing, speaking of stocking stuffers, let me find it in my carousel. I have a lot of items in here, so bear with me. Speaking of bears, hopefully I, have, I hope I didn't take them out. They are hot cocoa bears by Trader Joe's. Here we go. So it comes in a two pack and these are just little chocolate bears similar to like Easter time, but you can actually just pour hot cocoa onto them and they kind of melt in the cup and they're really cute stocking stuffers. And because it comes in a two pack, if you have two kids, you can 
equally give them one of each. It's really nice. So uh, this does have some dietary restrictions on here. So it does contain milk, wheat, soy, and it might con contain peanuts and almonds. But all you have to do is heat up one cup of milk or a non-dairy beverage and just watch it melt. It's cute. I don't know if it has marshmallows in here. Oh, yes, it does. It's got milk chocolate drops and marshmallows. So that's always a really fun gift that kids love. And it's in bear shape. So I kind of recommend it. Okay, let me show you another book. So here we have, let me find it. Through the North Pole. This is a really sweet book. Hold on. I also love the color. So rather than that purple blue hue that we got for Twinkle Twinkle Winter Night. This is more like green, purple, and blue. Super pretty. This is about a cute little fox that Santa adopts. So it's a longer book as well. Very stunning illustration. So let's go through this together. A little fox came hunting through the snow. It was trying to find something, anything for dinner. Everywhere was so cold and everywhere was so dark. Little, little fox is trying his best, trying to figure out where to go, but he finds cute little uh, an opening in, into Santa's home that's buried in the snow. Here we go. He somehow digs his way through the ceiling and then he gets picked up by, of course, Santa Claus. So this is a really cute book. It's very different. So there's not a lot of um, books out. I mean, there are a lot of books out there with foxes and whatnot, but this is a really sweet book. And it talks about what friendship is like and uh, companionship. It's just really sweet. And who doesn't love a cute little fox? So let me read a few pages here. He drew and measured and made plans. He sawed and painted and hammered and he cut and sewed and stuffed. And slowly, slowly he filled up all the empty shelves from their tops to their bottoms. When the sun, sun began to sink away once more and the first snow arrived, something else fell with it. Letters. They floated through the sky, hundreds, then thousands of them. The little fox helped the man find every single one. So cute. Then the man read and he read, he made lists, he matched the list to things on the shelves, adding notes and crossing things off, and he filled a great sack. He didn't stop until colored lights came dancing across the sky and eight reindeer arrived. So cute little story. I love how it rhymes. It's really fun. Uh, we get some insight in how Santa controls his workshop. So this is called Through the North Pole. It's about a cute little fox and Santa Claus together preparing for Christmas time and uh, just becoming friends. So this is Through the North Pole. This one, let me find this in my carousel again, is 1049, 45% off. This is so cute. Okay, so the next book I want to share with you today is I Am Cindy Lou Who. I mean... You have to have some Dr. Seuss in your uh, Christmas arsenal for sure. So we have, of course, this. I am Cindy Lou Who. This is not Dr. Seuss. This is written by, it's Cindy Lou's story and how the Who's actually prepare for Christmas. So this is written by, I saw the author earlier. It is by Tish Rabe and illustrated by Jan Girardi. So it's a board book for young Dr. Seuss fans. Let's look at it together. It's very shiny. I am Cindy Lou. I am the Who. I live in Whoville, and I am two. This is $6, by the way, so perfect price. All the Who's like Christmas a lot, but the Grinch on Mount Crumpet, he really does not. So super cute illustrations, of course. They did a really good job emulating Dr. Seuss's style. Um, at Christmas time, my family loves to trim our Christmas tree. We hang wreaths for all to see. We hang stockings one, two, and three. So this would be a really fun book for the kiddos, for young ones who are maybe, um, you know, getting to that stage where they can finally actually maybe read or sound out some of the 
the words themselves and um or just it's rhymy great for three four year olds too so this is i am cindy lou it's super fun it's funky i love dr seuss it's adorable so here is i am cindy lou who perfect all right so some other toys that i have here this is $12.39, another great stocking stuffer option, or you can do this or just save it. Legos never go out of style, so I would I would honestly suggest grabbing it if you already have your presents ready to go. I know plenty of adults who love Legos, too. So this is the Wintertime Polar Bear set. It is a great Lego set. Um, and it is big enough. If you do have a larger, like wider stocking, this would fit just fine. So this is a fun activity to do during the holiday weekend and just prep for Christmas. It, it'll keep the kids occupied too. So if you're busy baking or doing something or maybe packing up to travel, um, having the Lego set just like, hey, go play over there is a great idea. So here is our little booklet. And it's very straightforward. They do this in three different parts so that you can complete one big piece or not. Everything is laid out, all of the Lego pieces. It tells you exactly what to do in a particular order. And then you finally get everything. You can also count everything if you wanted to to make sure you have all the parts. So I did craft the cute little polar bear. Here he is. He's adorable. This took me me probably 20 minutes and I was rushing for sure because I was like, I got to get this done. So um, it didn't take me too long. It was very fun and intuitive, I guess. Like I just felt like I already knew what I needed to grab. So I'm sure this would for any Lego fans out there, they're going to love that. But as you can see, they're numbered the bags. So we have two very clearly marked and then a third bag. So I've already done the first bag. So check this one out if you're looking for some holiday Lego sets. They're really nice and you can reuse them or add them even to your current Lego uh, sets if you already have some. We also have some cute little baby plushies that I wanted to share too. Let me find them in the carousel. I'm going to show um, this one first. Oh no, he flew away. Hold on a second. I'll grab him real fast because he's very precious. Okay. Oh, this is what happens when your bookshelf falls apart. So this is uh, Aurora Pals, I think. They're Aurora Plushies is the brand. And these are Squishables. They are very... I, actually, are they Squishables? They're called something. Squishies. So this is the Squishy Gingerbread. It is so cute. I love the eyes. They're so fun. But this is a great stocking stuffer. And there's a ton of other or four at least of this particular style. There's a ton of other Aurora plushies that I'll show a little later through this um, live stream. But I love him. So this is perfect for zero and up. No age restriction. It's so squishy and soft. It's made with like a microfiber. It says too on the tag that it's eco-friendly. So they reused some recyclable materials, which is also really, really cool. <coughs> Excuse me. So definitely check this out if you're looking for some stuffies. And you can keep these too um, for the next holiday season. So yes, let me know what you think about them. Next on my list, let's go through another book here. I also have to triple check to make sure if anybody's commented. So if you are interested in not just holiday stuff, we have Cookbook Divas. So I'm streaming to two places right now, uh, Christmas Shopaholic and Cookbook Divas. And we do only have our Cookbook Divas Amazon channel. Make sure to give us a follow on all of these if you like Christmas and cookbooks because we go through it all the time and we live stream often and follow us at Cookbook Divas or at Christmas Shopaholic. Thank you. And comment. Let me know what you guys are doing for the holidays. I'd love to hear from you. All right. So next on my list today of Christmas stories is, of course, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Let me grab it real fast behind here. Hopefully I don't knock everything over. So this is by, uh, this is illustrated by Mr. Boddington. So let me get prepared. It's story time. Here we go. Twas the night before Christmas. 
So, of course, we have our classic poem, but the illustrations are kind of what drew me in. They're different. So, here we go. We have a lot in the intro. This is where we get crazy. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. So you can see there's a lot going on on each page. It's, um, I don't know if it's watercolor. It definitely has that kind of feel. Maybe it's even pastel or marker, but you can see this is a very distinct style. There's a lot to look at. So you can even do kind of a game with this book if you wanted to like, hey, can you see the Monopoly board? Uh, can, like how many pink books are there on the bookshelves? So there's a lot of stuff going on in each page. It's very festive and colorful. So let's see. And Mama in her ker kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. I wish I could have a winter's nap. So festive. Look at the town. It's so cute. So this is Twas the Night or yes, Twas the Night Before Christmas. This is by Mr. Boddington or at least the illustrations are. Very, very unique and fun. Memorable. This is kind of a collector item in my opinion. If you are somebody that collects Twas the Night Before Christmas, just the poems, this one's not as, I mean, I think adults and kids would enjoy this copy quite a bit. So this one is on sale right now. My phone keep, my Amazon influencer account keeps closing out, but let me triple check here. It is 10% off. So 15 at 29. So this is, of course, something that you're going to reuse every Christmas time. Everybody tends to kind of know the poem or at least the beginning of the poem. It's great to revisit this, especially during the holiday season. And it makes a really good gift, like I said, to more than just kiddos. It's great for adults, too, especially if they love this kind of style. So this is Mr. Boddington's uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas a really cool story. You can kind of see, I know my light is really bright here, but it is a little shiny. You can see some of the little twinkly stars here. So check this one out. All right. So let me put this back real fast without knocking everything over, hopefully. Oh, okay. So another Dr. Seuss book, I believe, let me just triple check that to make sure, is Winter Things. So I actually had a realization this weekend that I am not at all familiar with as many Dr. Seuss books as I thought I was. So I never read this one as a kid. I think it's actually Dr. Seuss's book. Yes. Maybe. Oh, no. Now I don't know. It's do it is based on the Dr. Seuss characters for sure. So this is 33% off, $6. A great board book. It's shiny, as you can see. I love the silver snowflakes. <clears throat> It says, wake up thing one, wake up thing two. It's snowing out and there's lots to do. Let's wrap up warm. It's time to go. Can you make snow angels in the snow? Or skate on ice or sled downhill? You can, you did on what? Oh, what a thrill. So this is super cute. It does have a like a good um, rhythm to it. It's very Dr. Seuss-esque. It's fun. It's honestly just a great wintertime read too. So it's not just Christmas oriented. Um, they talk about building a snowman and just enjoying wintertime activities together as thing one and thing two. If you have twins or if you have two little ones that are close in age, this would be a really fun one to read together because then they'll be like, hey, we can build a cute little snowman together or we can go sledding and it would be really, really fun. So this one's not super Christmas. It's winter time, but it's really festive and fun regardless and great for the rest of the year. I mean, January and February, it might start snowing, at least for us in the Pacific Northwest. So check out Dr. Seuss's Winter Things, cute little book, and it's perfect for little ones because the board is actually really, really high quality. I'm losing my voice here for some reason. Okay, 
So next on my list today, let me show you another little plushie. And then we have, actually, I'll do one more book real fast because this one's kind of short. This one, I believe, I don't know if this one came out this year or if it was How to Catch Santa Claus is the one that came out this year. So it's the same author and same publisher. So let me see. It's How to Catch an Elf. Um, let me see where when it was published first, and then I'll move on. I'm just curious now. Um, so there, they have a ton of other books, like How to Catch Santa. They have How to Catch a Witch. This one is actually 2016, so this one's a little older, but they have a lot of How to Catch a Blank book. So these are really whimsical and fun. We have a mischief mischievous elf who is on the loose, and he's on the loose in your house. So can you, the reader, catch this elf? It says, it's Christmas Eve, hip, hip, hooray. Yes, Santa's coming round. He's bringing toys to girls and boys in every house in town. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Some kids have tried to catch him, but Santa's fast, you see. So they've set their eyes on a smaller prize, and now they're after me. This is so cute. I'm not a friend upon a shelf who comes each year and sits. No, I've got style and I've got grace. I'm the elf that never quits. Now Santa's ready, time to go. I'm sure your traps are scary. I'll do my best to dodge them all and leave you feeling merry. In I go to Emma's house to make sure all is clear. A tinsel net? Oh, that's just fun. I won't get caught in there. So you can see he's very clever, adorable. Santa is trying to keep him in line, but even Santa's struggling. So How to Catch an Elf is a great steam book, apparently, as well. Um, it teaches us all kinds of cute words fun things and it's just really quirky and adorable if you're looking for a really cute adventure with a christmas elf this is totally it he's so adorable so check out how to catch an elf it's a great holiday book and you can add it to your arsenal if you've got some kiddos who are finally you know even for next year for those that are like oh finally we'll get to a place where we can actually read these books all right, so here's the plushies, the other ones that I wanted to show. I have to find them in my carousel. So this brand, Aurora, does do two packs as well. So um, you can mix. I think you can mix and match, but definitely click through to be sure. Again, this would be a great thing to add if you already have your Christmas stuff done and you're looking to do a little bit more, or if you're looking for things for maybe next year. You could put this on your wish list. Um, so here we have a cute little reindeer and a cute little snowman. And again, if you forgot or if you just joined us, there is a cute gingerbread man. And I can't remember. There's four. And I'm trying so... I. It might be Santa as the fourth one. There are four cute plushies. So this is 10% off, $17.99. You can get two of these. These are perfect, like, zero and up. So if you've got a Christmas baby on the way, so cute. They're so soft. They are made with recyclable material. So eco-friendly, another cool thing. I love the reindeer. I'm not going to lie. I think the reindeer might be my favorite. I love his little rosy cheeks. Um, the snowman is also quite cute. He's not my favorite favorite, but yes, they're, yes, they're soft. Actually, I think the snowman is softer. Why do you do this? Anyway, so these are really cute options if you're still looking for a few Christmassy things or even just a little gift for a family friend. If they've got kiddos, you can give them a gift. So check out these Aurora plushies, they're so fun. And I, yeah, I really like them. I like the style. They have other ones too that are like Halloween themed and a couple others too that are really fun. Okay, so next on my list today, this is a book I actually haven't read yet. So I need to find it real fast on my shelf and I have to take a quick, oh, that was easy. I found it. I have to take a quick sip of coffee real fast. To stay awake, you see, because I am sleepy today. All right, here we go. 
So it was the night before Christmas. I know I just did one. That one is more, I don't know. I think that one is more geared for adults or higher level kiddos. This one's more for the younger kiddos. Look at the Santa. Look at the sparkles. The reindeer are adorable. So this one definitely is more for younger kids. It's more of a, board. it is a board book. So let's look at this together. Oh, look at the mouse. Okay. Twas the night before Christmas when all around the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Oh my gosh, look at this puppy. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Same story, just different illustrations. Definitely more geared for the kiddos and like, you know, it's more vibrant, fun, magical. It's whimsical and festive. We get to learn about Santa and his reindeer, what they do every day. Well, not every day, but definitely on Christmas. Here we have a little boy trying to sneak a peek at Santa as he's delivering his presents. How dare. Santa looks really cute, welcoming. So definitely uh, check this one out if you're looking for a different sort of Twas the Night Before Christmas. It's a board book, so great for little ones. I, you know, poems are great all year round, but, or not all year round, but poems are just really great for every single Christmas time. So definitely get this one. It's so cute. And it's not super big. It's just a really, and it's narrow. So if you do have a smaller space or maybe a smaller bookshelf, this is a great way to store a book rather than the big, big books that don't necessarily fit in totes. This one's reasonable. Okay. So the next book I want to share with you today real quick it's called the lights at christmas but i need to find it in my carousel so that means you have to turn on amazon so again oh no i want to actually show this one because this one's really sweet and i don't want to run out of time so this one's the christmasy cactus i got this one from the library i really like this one i think it's really cute so the christmasy cactus so we live in the Pacific Northwest, so we don't, I mean, cactuses, Christmas cactuses aren't really something that we see. I mean, unless if you go and buy cactuses. So the story is great if you do live more in the southwestern end of the U.S. or, you know, just south in general. Maybe you have a Christmas cactus, which is cute. Here we go. Let's read it together. And the illustrations are really cute. Christmas cactus is adorable. Tiny Cactus lived on a big brown bookshelf. In the heart of the house, in the hearts of her family. So here's what the illustrations kind of look like. They're more vibrant in person, I promise. Every morning, her little girl said, hello, my little cupcake. And every evening, she cooed, who's the sweetest little bonbon? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> then one morning, she said something she had never said before. Time to decorate for Christmas, little ginger snap. Ooh, okay. And Tiny Cactus saw things she had never seen before. Shimmering things, sparkling things, twinkling, tinseling, transforming things. I cannot wait to be decorated, Tiny Cactus told her friend, the elephant. I can't wait to be a part of Christmas. And she wait as she waited, new smells swirled from the kitchen, new songs floated through the air, and Tiny Cactus just knew something special was going to happen. Christmas books crowded the bookshelf, but Tiny Cactus didn't mind because they're full of amazing things, like things like Santa and magic and wishes. A wish, she told her elephant, is exactly what I need. So we get to this point in the story where Christmas Cactus is like, well... Why are you decorating this giant, you know, Christmas tree? Why aren't you decorating me? And she has a wish that she wants to be a huge part of Christmas too. And what the result is, is that she ends up blooming for Christmas time. And it is really, really cute the, how we get to this. So if you're looking for something a little different, or something like if you do live, you know, in the southwest of the U.S. or something like that, the Christmassy cactus is so cute. It's perfect because some of, I know I even here in the Pacific Northwest, I do have friends who have a Christmas cactus. Um, 
very cute story. Um, so definitely check that one out. Okay, so next on my list today, uh, we have here. Oh, I need to show you these little candles before before they go away. These are actually really great. We've had them for a couple of years, so I'm glad they're still over on Amazon. I don't have the other one available. I don't know if I even put batteries in these because I'm so ill prepared today. Hold on a second. I didn't. Okay, so I can always take them out of this real fast. Hold on. We're going to transfer things a bit if I can get this to work. Okay, here we go. We are going, I promise. Thank you so much for your patience with me. All right, so these are the um, ginger, or sorry, the Nutcracker candles. These are LED battery operated, so they take two AA batteries. I just took them out of my little gingerbread thing. So let me put these in real fast so you can actually see them in action. And um, I've had, we've had these for a couple of years now, so I don't think they're going away but these are really cool during Christmas time. What is happening? Maybe I put the batteries in incorrectly. Um, so I really love nutcrackers as I lose it. I love the shine. It does sparkle. It's I know it's hard to see, but you can kind of see his red pants. They sparkle. These are great options. If you have kids who run around like crazy, hold on, let me find this battery. Or if you have pets, so I'm trying to stay decorated for Christmas time, but it's hard for me to keep my candles lit because um, my pets are mischievous and they knock everything over. I don't know why these aren't working. I don't know why I'm struggling here. Hold on a second. They do work. I promise. I think this is just user error. Oh, they're, they're lit up. It's just really dim. Let me check here. Maybe my batteries aren't working. Okay, well, I guess they're not working right now. That was a bummer. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, this is a really, I mean, I really do like the set. It's really cute. And I actually have the other one. So it comes in a set of three. I've decorated and put like a little wreath around it to make it a little more festive. And it's just I love nutcrackers. They're really cute. So check that one out. We also have another cute plushy item from Aurora World. These are Palm Pals. So another really great baby toy. So clearly Palm Pal. Santa's having some issues. So this is a bean bag here. It's very, very soft. And Santa is, uh, he does have a little beady nose and beady eyes. So it might be a little hard. I don't think I, I don't think there is an age restriction though. Maybe, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So this is a really cute little stocking stuffer. You can have him hanging out at the very top of the stocking. Very, very soft. As you can see, he just kind of lives on this little house here. They're really, really cute. So I highly recommend it. Okay, so the next thing I want to share with you today is the American Girl Holiday Baking Book. It's a great idea. So even if you're, even if you can't necessarily get this item for this Christmas, keep it in mind for the future or future Christmases, just because it's, I mean, you can use it for all kinds of holidays, including winter time. If you have any uh, American girl lovers in your house, this is going to be totally worth it. So it's a cookbook, the only cookbook in our list today. Here we have, let me get to it. All of the recipes you will find, all of these are sweets, but there's also a cool chapter on candies. So you can actually make, you know, um, if you do have a kid in school and you do cookie exchanges or holiday parties, you can do make your own candies as well. And that would be really fun. Another reason why I love this cookbook is that if you do a pastel pink Christmas theme. This is perfect. There's a lot of pink stuff in here. So the very beginning, of course, is a great introduction, pantry staples, that sort of thing. Things to prepare you because the kids are usually doing a lot of the baking, but you can do this together. There is step-by-step -step photos throughout, which is very helpful, especially for some of the more tough or show-stopping sort of dishes, but we have a lot of simple stuff. So this is a vanilla sugar cookie pretty staple around for a lot of families. 
We have a peppermint swirl macaron. That sounds very good. If I had time, I would have done that. See, even the step-by-step. -step. So if you're like, holy moly, I can't do a swirl. You could totally do that with this cookbook. Here's another one that's, I mean, kind of advanced for a, a baker is the stained glass snowflakes, especially for kiddos. There's even tips here you can see to make it easier. We have hot cocoa cookies. I mean, that would be great all year round. Let's move on from cookies and talk about some pies and tarts. Ooh, look at this. Let me figure out what this is. It looks like an apple crisp. It is a cinnamon swirl apple pie. So almost like little apple cinnamon rolls, but kind of like a monkey bread too. That's a good idea. Chocolate raspberry tartlets. So maybe you've got a small little gathering. It might just be your nuclear family. You can get together, have a tiny little tartlet at the end of the night. We have spiced apple and honey cake, more of a showstopper in a couple of steps. I think there are some step, yep, step-by-step -step photos here. We have two, some other stuff like a pavlova. Yum. These all look phenomenal. A sugar and spice popover. That's a cool idea. There's also a orange marmalade bread pudding dish. Candies. This is the one chapter I want to spend a little more time on. There's different candies, so you can do a peanut brittle. That's one that I know a lot of people do for the holidays. It's really fun. We also have... I'm missing some. Candy cane bark is another tradition across many households. And this would be a great gift option. This one's fun. These are raspberry fruit jellies. So if you are looking for a baking book, this is great. It's even better if you have an American Girl fan out there and they love baking too. You guys can do this together for the holidays. It's, I don't know, I love baking with like my niece during the holidays. It's really fun. So check this one out, Holiday Baking. Alrighty, let's check out another toy here. This one's for older kiddos, uh, probably ages like eight and up. Even teenagers might even enjoy it if they're into doll collecting. So let me get to this item real fast. I got to find it in my carousel. Hold on a second. Here it is. It's 29% off, so $24.99. It is. Here we go. I got to put these down. So Rainbow High. This is the new series of doll. So they, I think this is series four. This one is Amaya Rain. So you can see she's got this rainbow skirt here. Um, and she does have other outfits. She's technically a fashion designer. So all of the Rainbow High dolls here are great because there's going to be a doll for everybody. It, they don't leave anybody out. So everybody has their own fashion sense, their own personality. So it's not just a singularity or, you know, when I was growing up, that's how it felt like. It's like, oh, everything is like pretty girls and cutesy preppy. Now they've got a ton of different kinds of dolls. So Rainbow High and Shadow High are great and they're pretty popular on YouTube. So if you're looking for a gift for the kiddos, this is it, especially if they love dolls. Rainbow High is awesome. So she actually glitters, like you can kind of see her her scalp and her hair. Oh, I should I should have opened this. So let me see if I can open this gently and show it to you guys. Her hair actually has rainbow in it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. So you can kind of see the blue behind here. There is like a full rainbow of hair here as well. She's a cool doll. So check her out and check out all the other Shadow High slash Rainbow High dolls. They're really, really high quality dolls. Ball jointed and they're like eight inches tall. They're pretty awesome. I wish I had them as a kid. Okay, so the next book I want to share with you is The Lights at Christmas. It's like a very metallic book. It's very pretty. It's a board book. It talks about different activities that you can do during Christmas time. Here, oh, I almost hit myself. <laughs> okay, so this is 1168. Tis the season to gather around the Christmas tree. 
glowing lights and the love of a family. Shining ornaments and a big golden star bringing loved ones together both near and far. Here you can see a lot more shine. The candy canes shine quite a bit and the tree is crazy shiny. A neighborhood walk, festive and bright shining light, twinkling colorful bulbs add cheer to the night. Glittery candy canes line the sidewalk. Look at the house with the big sparkling gift box. And you can actually see it. Cute. You can play a game too like, hey, can you actually see the glittering sparkling gift box? Roll out some cookie dough and turn on the oven. Spread cheer by baking cookies by the dozen. Listen for Christmas songs outside the front door. Carol carolers hold lanterns and sing songs to a door. So it's really, really cute. It shows community celebrating with family members or friends. Um, you can share a feast, sit by the fire, read books, carol. I've never actually done that before. I'm curious if anybody here has caroled, um, baking cookies or other things too, uh, cakes, cinnamon rolls, going out on walks. So this is a really cute book. Um, very, very festive and it's perfect for Christmas time. It's the lights at Christmas, a really cute board book. Great for younger readers for sure. And you can read together. Okay. So the next book I want to share with you today Oh, let me do this one. It's another board book, 739. So 26% off right now. Let me carefully grab it without knocking my entire shelf over. This is actually Glow in the Dark, by the way. It is by Pretty Books, Night Night Santa. So some of these pages, and I wish I could show you, I can't turn my lights off and show you these. I think some of these pages do need to charge, but it does glow in the dark, which is very cool. So let me read this to you. I love how festive this one is. It talks about Santa and his delivery, where he goes, and all the different houses. In Santa's workshop, the jobs are nearly done. Soon the jolly elves can have some festive fun. Once they've wrapped up the last doll and teddy, Santa checks his list and gets his sleigh ready. So you can see all of the different elves are helping Santa. Santa's sleigh glides through the sky with a whoosh. Then onto a snowy rooftop, they land with a swoosh. Oh, so you can see here, same kind of page. Uh, Santa climbs down the chimney, ho, ho, ho. Then he's inside the house ready to go. So it features all kinds of different households, different chimneys, um, different situations. You might live in an apartment. So Santa will come and visit if you live in an apartment. Maybe you don't have a fireplace. Maybe you live out in the middle of nowhere. So there's so many situations that are great um, and different things <laughs> and activities before Christmas Eve that people do or when you're prepping for Santa. This is a cool little story that shows the adventure of Santa delivering his gifts. It's very rhymy, very fun, and it glows in the dark. It is called Night Night Santa. It does have, this is interesting, it's a parent's guide here on the very back too. So if you're interested, check this one out for another festive, very good book for really, really little ones. Your littlies. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to share with you today is, I have to find it. Oh, where are you? Oh, here, let me show you this. I haven't been able to. So I forgot to plug this in and I feel horrible because I was going to, I was all excited to live stream. So this is by Lemax. Lemax. They do really cute winter scene. Um, I believe it's ceramic sets. So these are really awesome. This one I believe is from 2022. I don't think it was this year. It's the Bristol Estate. So you can actually see it, it does come with a plug here and you can turn this on and off and it lights up. You can see a warm hue inside. I did not plug it in. I'm so sorry, but it's really cool. You can see you can actually store it pretty easily. Just put the cord back in here. That's what it's meant for. Um, and it comes in a styrofoam box in a box. Um, so that's also really beneficial. So you can keep these. They're great keepsakes. You can create your own cute winter villages. I think my grandmother used to actually do that. And it was really fun to see just 
Christmas time kind of come to life, especially for the Pacific Northwest, because it was like, oh my gosh, we never get like this kind of snowy Christmas look. And it's really magical to see that even in a small set and you can build it. So check this one out. It's really great if you keep these lit at night um, and have, it just looks really magical. So check this one out. This is a Bristol estate. I love it. Look at the details. So pretty. It is fragile though. There are some small things in here that I think like this little wreath here, it came off. So just be gentle with it. It uh, It is easy to kind of patch though. So check that out. Check out all of Lamax because there's so many different sets you can find every year and they are collector items. Okay, so next to we have another Palm Pal. This one's an adorable concept. So this is, he looks, he looks a little derpy. He is the Palm Pals Aurora Toys, eco-friendly, but it's a gingerbread house. He has a cute little chimney. So this is super soft. It's a bean bag here. So it does, it is able to kind of sit as you could tell, just like the Santa Claus that I had here who's sitting on top of my Bristol estate. Um, so this one's really cute too. Super soft, perfect for a little, like for anybody, any age. Um, so this is great. You can find a ton of different Palm Pal styles. This one would just happen to be so precious. I love the etching with, and the decorating on the gingerbread. I wish they did some on the back too, like give them a little window or something. So check these out. These are really cute. They're only $9.41 and they're eco-friendly, which is really nice. This is Darlene, the gingerbread house. So cute. Check that out. So next book, let's find it. I got to find it. Here we have I had a ton of these, so hold on a second. Bear with me. Where are you? There is. Hopefully, I didn't just go through everything. Oh, perfect. We have Pick a Pine Tree. This is a stunning book. So it's got a shine. You can see the red is super sparkly on this one. You can even see here the lights on the Christmas tree actually light up. This one at the very end has this really cute pop-up surprise. So I'm not going to, maybe I will. I'm going to share it. So I'll share it at the end. It's really cute. Um, here's the art style here. So they go off and pick a Christmas tree. They try to find the perfect one and they go to their Christmas tree farm. Then they have to go home and decorate it. So let me read a few pages here. I'm going to start in the middle. Slip in and uh, turn screws tight. They will hold your tree upright. Fill with water to the brink. Give your thirsty tree a drink. Then find the trimming stored within bulging boxes, rusty tins, paper bags, a wooden case. Bring them to that special place there beside your tree. But wait, this is an interesting rhyming that's going on here. Don't decorate alone. Call some people on the phone. Ask your friends to come and stay hosting a decorating day. So here, look at the colors. It's really fun because it's not the traditional Christmas colors you see that are just kind of, you know, red and white and green, just all on steroids. There's a ton of cool illustrations and color. So here they go decorating the tree together and the very end has this beautiful Christmas tree. Look at that. And it sparkles and shines. You can see, I mean, it's a great little surprise at the very, very end here. So this is called Pick a Pine Tree. Totally dig it. This is illustrated by Jarvis, a very, very distinguished um, art style, as you can see with that cute reindeer. And then let's look at another cute holiday book. I think we have time for a couple more. So let's see. We have It's Christmas Everywhere. This one's really cute. I need to find it, though. Here it is. This might be my favorite one that I have. It's a board book. Let me sit up straight. One thing that's fun about this is you can actually kind of splay it open, and it might be able to hang out as a, a like a decoration on your bookshelf. Anyway, so I love the Christmas tree shape. It talks about 
counting down the days to Christmas and the different celebrations around the world. How do other people celebrate Christmas? So let's read a few of these together. We have nine days until Christmas and who could it be? A friend with a shell that sounds like the sea. So that's here. Then on this page, it says every culture has its own special ways of decorating for the holidays in Christmas like Australia, Brazil, and South Africa, December is a summer month. So how would you decorate during a summer month that's not wintertime or cold? So they actually use seashells to decorate their Christmas tree. The illustrations are really fun. It showcases little bits of every culture that they're representing here. Here we have seven days until Christmas. And who's this I see? A friend with a gourd carved to look just like me. So in the Andes Mountains in Peru, people carve dried gourds, round or pear-shaped squash that are like pumpkins into Christmas decorations, and then they hang them on the Christmas tree. That's such a cute idea. It's actually very woodland-y if you're looking for that vibe, but you get to have a, a greater appreciation for how every culture is like decorated or done Christmas time. So here we have... I'll do one last one. This is as Christmas day dawns, all my friends sing to me. You're more than a pine. You're our Christmas tree. Friends around the world have left more gifts to find a straw goat from Norway that brings good luck. La Bethana's broom from Italy, which she uses to deliver treats. Wooden shoes from the Netherlands to hold carrots for Sinterklaas's horse. And a glass pickle from America. Whoever finds it on Christmas morning gets an extra present. Okay, I've never done that before, but that sounds fun. So there's a lot of cute stuff in here. You get to learn about Christmas and how they celebrate around the world. It is $16.95 right now on Amazon. It's such a cute book very educational. It's a way to start conversations too. Like if the kids are like, Hey, how did they celebrate Christmas over here? Or how do they celebrate their wintertime holidays? So you can learn so much together. All right. So the next one I wanted to share today is, uh, it's frozen, but I have to find it. Bear with me. 36% off. This one's cute. So this one is 10 89. This is the aftermath of Frozen. So I know a lot of people actually do watch Frozen during the holidays. It's another great wintertime kids movie or for adults too. This is Anna, Elsa, and the Enchanting Holiday. This is what happens after the movie. So this would be a great read after you watch a movie at night. Then you go to bed. You can, you know, talk about Anna and Elsa and what they've been doing all this time. So it's a beautifully illustrated book. I love it. Snow glistened across the kingdom of Arendelle. The winter holidays have arrived, and with them came a very special visitor. Elsa had traveled from the enchanted forest to be with her sister Anna for the ringing of the Yule Bell. I love the castle in the background, the purpley pink snow. Here we have Elsa with her magical ice horse, which is awesome. And then we have basically both of these guys have been so busy throughout the year that they haven't made time for each other, but this is the time that they will come together and make their own celebrations as sisters. So here we go. Just then, Gail the wind spirit swirled around Elsa. I think Gail is curious about the bell, Elsa smiled. The forest spirits have never had a holiday celebration the way Arendelle does. What? cried Olaf. No festive festivities, no merry merriment, no fruitcake. Somebody should fix that. So I love this. It's such a cute book. Um, I think I've given myself enough space. I, I mean, my niece, I think, was two or three when Frozen came out. So you can imagine how many times we watched it. It was like over and over and over again. So we needed some time. Now I have a greater appreciation for it. I love it. This is just whimsical. It's fun. It features all of the family favorites with all of the characters from Frozen. You get to learn what they've been up to all this time. And then they get to decorate their own tree, create their own celebrations. It's just a really sweet story. So this is oh, Anna, Elsa, and the Enchanting Holiday. So thank you so much for those of you that have joined me today. If you want to make sure to stay 
I guess, up to date with Christmas stuff, make sure to follow us and cookbooks, of course, all year round. We do live stream about cookbooks for the most part, and we do like gourmet foods, that sort of thing. Make sure to give us a follow. That's down here at Cookbook Divas on all of our socials, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and of course, our Amazon live channel. That way, it's a lot easier for you to access some of these items. I appreciate you so much for tuning in to this uh, holiday special. I know a lot of people are like, where are the cookbooks? We'll get there. I promise. We've had a couple of, I mean, it's the holidays. We're going a little ham today. Uh, so make sure to give us a follow on all of those things. Make sure to comment. Let us know what you're doing for the holidays uh, on any of those platforms. Thanks so much again, and we will see you next time.